Hey everybody, the horse racing kid is signing on to Handicap Monmouth Park here on opening day of the million dollar meet here. Uh, 13 races to handicap. I'll have all the picks on my website uh, probably by tonight. Uh, it's actually very early to do my show. I have off today from school, so I'm doing my show early. Uh, loads of st uh, two stake races on the car. I'm going to handicap those. Uh, so yeah. So let's start off with the fifth race. It is the delegation handicap. First one hundred thousand dollars, six furlongs for three year olds and upward, going six furlongs. Mom is close to New York. I love Mom. Mom is a very nice track. A field of seven, and I'm going with the five. Go go shoot, Johnny V. John Velasquez is jockey. Todd Pletcher trains. Last time out there in the fall, Highwood Stakes at Aqueduct six furlongs. Came in seventh, a fourth in the Vosburg, six furlongs on the slot, and the Albert Vanderbilt Stakes at Saratoga, a second. Won the Mr. Prospector at Monmouth last year. And what? Let me get on to this guy. The Mr. Prospector Stakes uh, last year at Monmouth, from six furlongs with $78,000. Allowance race at Monmouth today is at $80,000, so way up uh, purses. This year, I think it's worth $100,000. Then this horse ran the, and the Longfellow stakes at Monmouth for $70,000. One by nine and a half lengths and an eighth in a stake race over at Delaware. I'm going with this one here. Sorry, cap my bets for race number five from Monmouth Park going with the five. Let's go on to race number 11, I believe. I think you're right. Yeah, race number 11. It is the Elkwood purse, $100,000. Actually, one of my favorite races of. May, maybe the year of Monmouth. Uh, first hundred thousand dollars, three and upward. Going one mile on the sixteenth on the turf. I don't think this this purse didn't change from last year. Mile sixteenth. Uh, start. Uh, shoot start actually. They're gonna start from the shoot with the rails gonna be at twenty four feet. A field of eight. The eight is the main track only. And I'm going with four five six here. Number four. Kiss the kid. Last time out there in the Ben Alley Stakes at Keeneland. A mile and eighth on the on the poly track, came in second. In the Appalachian Stakes at Goldstream, seven and a half furlongs, a third. In the Don Handicap, came in a seventh. Second in the Fort Lauderdale Stakes, and the Clark Handicap, a tenth. Second in the Meadowlands Cup, third in the Cliffhanger on the turf, over at the Meadowlands. Uh, no Meadowlands racing, just to remember this year. If that sucks, but no Meadowlands. Then uh. Then the Ocean Port off the turf on Mom on Haskell Day came in seventh and a fifth in the Salvador Mile. So with this one had to work out four thrones at Palm Meadows and forty nine. So I'm going with number five and I'm going with number five, get stormy. Garrett Gomez. <coughs> Sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> a last time after in Conwell Turf back in November at Gulfstream at at Calder at uh, Churchill. Jeez. Uh one by nose. In the uh, Keelan, in a mile, in a uh, in the Byron Station Stakes, one by half lengths. In the Lure at Saratoga, the overnight stakes, one by three and a quarter lengths. In the Lounge Race over at Saratoga, one by three lengths. Second in the in the Bel at Belmont on the turf. Going with this one, and I'm going with number six, Pleasant Strike. Last time after when I called her in the Miami Mile, came in third. A third in the River City. The Cliffhanger came in second. Second in the Red Bank on the turf at a mile. In the Ocean Fourth, a third, second in the battlefield, in a stake race over down down at Colonial, a mile sixteenth on the on the out in the inner turf course, came in for a first, and a launch race over at Delaware, seven and a half, a third. Going with this one, so recap my bets for race number eleven from Monmouth Park, going with the four, five, six. So here's the meat highlights of the meat. Of course, it's going to be the Haskell, but big purses. Million dollar meet. Minimum a million dollars will be giving out every race card. Loads of fields. Uh, some new faces in the jockey colony, including Garrett Gomez. He he'll be a regular rider. Uh, John Velasquez said he'll be a regular rider, including uh, oh let's see, Todd Pletcher and Bob Backford have a couple of horses here stationed. There will be no fall racing at the Meadowlands this year. Uh, the two major stakes from um. Metal and has transferred. Tra 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 transferred. 
The Meadowlands Cup has been renamed the Monmouth Cup, which will be run on October 9th. And the Pegasus will be run, and the Pegasus will be run as a Pasco prep back on June the 19th. Special po here's the meet highlights include the Haskell Invitational Mile on the 8th, back on on s Sunday, August the 1st, and then another meet highlight is the Mile 3H United Nations Handstakes back on, which is going to be on s Saturday, July the 3rd. Couple of good races here. Here's the meet highlights. The main track is uh, one mile, a uh, mile oval with a six furlong shoot and a uh, mile and a quarter shoot. Uh, the turf course is seven furlongs uh, oval uh, with a mile and an eighth shoot and a five and a half sprint shoot. Uh, I like these five and a half races on the turf at Monmouth. Another big race that you might, uh, I like personally is the Monmouth Stakes 250 is the first. What's going to be on Saturday, June the 12th. So yeah, so, oh, and then don't forget the Salvador Mile 250 the first on that one. So. Oh, so it's horse racing kids sign off for number. Good luck to all.